Linda Cadwell was the one and only wife of Bruce Lee. She lived with him for nine years, and they had two children. They were incredibly happy together. Unfortunately, Bruce died in 1973 under mysterious circumstances, shocking the entire world. Since then, her life has completely changed. What has her life been like after the death of her husband, and where is she now? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on! The sudden death of Kung Fu's finest legend, Bruce Lee, was a real shock not only to his family, but to the whole world. At his funeral, over 20,000 mourners gathered in the streets of Hong Kong to bid a final farewell to the departed superstar. His wife, Linda Cadwell, attended the funeral full of tears and sadness that cannot be described with words. With her husband's demise, she was left with two young kids in her care, and she did everything she could to raise them in the best way. However, another sad event was about to happen to the family. Before becoming Bruce Lee's wife and long before he became famous on screens, Linda Lee Cadwell was an ordinary girl. She was born on March 21, 1945, in Everett, Washington, and belonged to a middle-class family. Linda is of Swedish-Irish-English descent, which gives her remarkable beauty and posture. When Linda was just five years old, her father passed away, and it was a tough time for her to accept. After this, her family decided to move to Seattle. Linda attended Garfield High School and completed her basic education there. She then went on to the University of Washington to become a teacher. It was at the university that she first met Bruce Lee. Bruce came to demonstrate Kung Fu in a class, and Linda was there watching. Reflecting on that encounter, Linda said, From the very first moment I met him, I thought, this guy is something else. Fascinated with Bruce Lee's talent and fluent martial arts skills, she began taking classes and learning with Lee while they were at the same university. Theirs was love at first sight, since they both had an instant attraction to each other. Their relationship quickly grew, and on August 17, 1964, they got married. The happy couple had a small and almost secret wedding, with only a few guests, to avoid trouble and threats because Bruce Lee was of Asian heritage. When Linda married Bruce, she was 19 years old and a few credits shy of graduating from university. A year after their wedding, they welcomed their first child, Brandon. The following year, the family moved to Los Angeles. In 1969, they had another child, a daughter named Shannon. Both kids started learning martial arts when they were young and grew up surrounded by their father's teachings. During this time, Bruce Lee faced significant racism in Hollywood as no studio was willing to cast a Chinese man in a leading role. Because of this, he decided to move to China with his wife and children. Back in Hong Kong, Lee quickly signed a two-film contract and released the movie known to U.S. audiences as Fists of Fury in late 1971. With the graceful choreography of his movements, his good looks and charm, his sense of humor, and his acting ability, Lee was truly one of a kind, a star in the making. Fists of Fury set box office records in Hong Kong only to be surpassed by his next film, The Chinese Connection, in 1972. Bruce became very successful in China and returned to the United States, where he got offers to play important roles, fulfilling his dream. However, his fame didn't last long. On July 20, 1973, Bruce Lee died under mysterious circumstances. His death was a surprise and a shock to his family, friends, and fans, especially his wife, Linda Lee. He was only 32 years old, and he was at the peak of his career. Many people couldn't believe that someone as skilled as Bruce Lee could die naturally. Lee's death became a source of controversy. Officially, it was said that Bruce Lee's death happened because his brain swelled up in reaction to aspirin he took for a back injury, but because he passed away suddenly, and he was young, healthy, and about to become a big international star people started talking and making up stories. Some said maybe he was killed by hitmen. Others thought he might have upset the Chinese mafia 
and other important people in the Hong Kong film industry, and that maybe he was poisoned. However, no one knows the real truth. After Bruce's death, Linda coped with her grief by writing several books to help fans understand his life. One of the best-selling books is Bruce Lee, The Man Only I Knew. In 1988, she married writer Tom Bleeker. Their marriage only lasted two years before they divorced. Shortly after, Linda married Bruce Cadwell in 1991 and settled in Southern California. Meanwhile, her son Brandon Lee had started a career in Hollywood, starring in action movies that showcased his martial arts skills. Like his father, Brandon Lee was really on the verge of stardom. Sadly, just two days before the 20th anniversary of Bruce's death, Brandon died under equally strange circumstances. While filming a scene for the movie The Crow, he was shot by a gun that was supposed to have blanks but actually had a live round in its chamber. It is difficult to imagine what grief it is for a mother to bury her son. Rumors linked his death to Bruce Lee's leading his mother to file a lawsuit against 14 entities, accusing crew members of not following firearm safety protocols on set. Linda considers Brandon's death still incomprehensible. However, she had to survive this blow too. Ultimately, Linda Lee Cadwell focused on what she could change and completed her remaining college credits required to graduate. And she went on to teach kindergarten. In 2002, Linda and her daughter Shannon established the Bruce Lee Foundation, a nonprofit organization that promotes Bruce's philosophy and teachings. Shannon is now 54 years old. She has followed in her father's footsteps, becoming an actress, martial artist, and businesswoman. She is married to Land Kiesler, and they have a daughter. Moreover, she is the CEO of the Bruce Lee Family Companies and works to keep her father's legacy alive. Shannon has a very good relationship with her mother, and she often posts photos with her on her Instagram. Linda Lee Cadwell, now 78 years old, continues to be remarkable even in her later years. She leads a relaxed life, enjoying the tranquility of the countryside, and has entrusted the estate to her daughter. When Cadwell participates in organizational events, she often does so as a volunteer. Even 50 years after the unfortunate passing of the legend, Bruce Lee's legacy persists. He remains a cultural icon in Hong Kong, a skilled martial artist, and a philosopher whose words inspire and unite people across generations and cultures worldwide. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Do you believe that Bruce Lee's death was planned? Share your opinion in the comments. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.